Welcome everyone. You're trying to download an app, but you keep on getting this ask permission message. And there's only one way to remove this, and that is to get access to the parent iPhone. So this is the iPhone which set up family sharing. Now, if you are a child watching this video, I'm going to tell you this right now. It is a lot easier to get access to your parent's iPhone than you think. You could literally just ask them to borrow it for five minutes. You could watch them enter in their passcode and then do it at another time. I'll put in the comment section if you are able to, you know, borrow your parents' iPhone. What did you tell them? And uh, help the uh, other people out who uh, need this video. So once you have access, that's all you need. We're going to open the settings, and inside of the settings, you're going to tap on the parent's name at the top. And then you're going to tap on family sharing. And then you're going to tap on your account. So not the organizer, your account. And then you're going to see ask to buy. You're going to tap on this one and watch this. I can tap on the toggle to turn it off and it does not ask me for the Apple ID password. So if you have access to your parents' phone, you can turn this one off. And it's not even going to ask for the password. Now, if you do do this and your parents are constantly checking their settings, then they're going to know you've done this and they're going to get angry. So what I would recommend is you quickly, while the ask permission is off, you quickly download the apps. So it's still asking for permission. I'm going to close out of the app store, reopen it. And so we're just going to go quick here. I had parents going downstairs, boom, boom. Give me this one, boom. Okay, boom. And you can see the app's downloading. There was no permission asked. We're in business. Okay, I don't care. You just go through, download what you need. And once the download has started, we can turn back on, require purchase approval. And these applications, they've already been downloaded. So you can re-download them without ever asking for the permission. But these new applications here, you're going to see they will ask for the permission. So before you are done with your parents' iPhone, just swipe back until you're brought to the home page of settings. Otherwise, your parents will see you know, what you've been doing. And there you go. We have uh, <laughs> we've done the grand heist. Believe me, getting access to your parents' iPhone is not as hard as it, as, as it may seem. You know, ask them, you know, maybe they have some books that you want to read on their iPhone. Maybe you forgot your iPhone, you know, forgot. Just think of a reason and then you're in business. So with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.